Hello and welcome to this fourth episode of this uh, uh, an animation with armatures, um, animating a mesh object with armatures. We had, in the previous one, if you view that one, we looked at how what happens when you have a contiguous mesh and how you can uh, manipulate that and how you can create your, uh, you know, what you do to make it work, so to speak. And now I would like to look at, I'm just going to, move this I think to I'll just move it to another layer just to kind of get it out of the way I'll just move oh yeah I will just uh, basically push it over so we'll look at we'll focus on this one instead uh, and this one here is a like two. These are two separate objects, and they're they're okay. They they are animated through this uh, one armature, uh, and I would like to turn that into pose mode. Pose mode. And it needs to be in uh, pose position, so we can actually move it. And uh, we can look there, and uh, I dis I d I'm not inheriting the, um, this bone here is not inheriting the rotation, so I can turn that on. I kind of think it's cool with not inheriting. It looks pretty, pretty interesting, um, like that. It's like this uh, juggling act. Uh, anyway, um, because you can still always, you know, rotate this one independently. Um, so what I would like to do is um, actually change this scenario. I would like to go to this and have the rest position too. So that, first of all, we did something to this one, I think it was. Yes, I think so. And we uh, turn on edit and go to... Um, Local mode by pressing forward slash and um, yeah, mm -hmm. second uh, first. Press A. Well, what about the first here? Select that. No, it uh, didn't matter. Okay, I was wrong. It was this one. And we can look at second and select. And yes, there's the one. And I don't want this now. I would like this not to be affected by the second bone. So I'll just remove this from that uh, group. So if I select it now, then it won't be, there will be no members of the second vertex group in this, in this particular um, mesh. I'll press forward slash to go back to global mode um, view. And what I would like to do instead here is I, I want to create a somewhat believable joint here and uh, join object mode and uh, turn to wire so we're not as obstructed by it. Uh, so what I would like to have is something right here. Okay, let's see there. And we can do Shift A and we'll add a cylinder. And I would like to have it a little bit smaller, maybe 12 and uh, radius of 0 0.5. It doesn't matter, we can scale that, but uh, depth of one maybe. It, it can be all done later. Uh, because I really want to go into edit mode and, and change the, um, the mesh around. And now what I would like to do is I would like to R Y 90. So I would like to change it like this. And then um, I think I would like to scale this. Scale X 0 0.5. So I have one there. And then... So now that sits there, 
and I would like to this will be a separate ob this is now a separate object um, I can just put it over like this and then go into uh, object mode and um, do a shift D to duplicate that object so now I have two of those and what I'll do now is what I would like to happen is is for this one here to be related to uh, the second bone. So what I'll do here is I'll um, select this mesh, in other words this object here, and then I'll select the armature. So make sure, let's go over to armature mode, turn on, I just want to turn on the big octahedral sticks so I can see what I'm doing. So I'll select that one and then I'll shift select. Oh, that's not what I wanted. It's kind of tricky sometimes. A to I'll start over there and there. Okay, now. Now I got first the mesh, then the armature, and then I do the control P thing with automatic weights. And I can do the same thing for this one over here. First the mesh, then the armature, then control P and automatic weights. So now when I go to this one here, <coughs> uh, this mesh here, I know exactly what I want. I don't want anything of second. I'm just going to delete this. We can look at it, by the way. Uh, in white paint, you see what mess I've made. Uh, yeah, you have all these orangey and the r green colors, and it's all one after the other. And if I start to manipulate this, there will be deformations galore. So we're going to go to object mode. So now we're really messing things up. Okay, there you go. And uh, post mode for that one. And you'll see here what happens. And we'll turn, I hardly see anything because, okay, we need to be in post position. We'll look at this, uh, turn it to wire. Okay, rotate it around the, no. Yeah, that's what. Oh, yes, that's what's happening. So we want probably local, no, uh, normal, like that. Okay, that's better. So much better. So if I'm now rotating this, you can see what's happening here. You can see that these, these, um, this hinge that I kind of makeshift made here is just deforming all over the place. It's not, you know, it's it's kind of crumpling down <laughs> like that and the same goes for it. it's awful so it, there's the <clears throat> it looks like a, you know if you want that rubbery feel then you know you know go ahead and do it uh, but um, maybe you don't so then if you want to get that machine feel instead then we'll just um, select this here and um, basically I would like this one look at it from the front by the way I think I, this is the one that I wanted for the first. So I'm just going to delete second here, just remove it. And that one I'll just delete first. And then I'll just look at that and do forward slash and paint, weight paint. And say, okay, first, yeah, we need 100%. So let's just uh, let's just do that. Turn on this. Just paint that up. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. And then forward slash go back. And. Um, Let's go back to object mode and select that one and see what um, what that looks like. And just 
just uh, just paint it. See here what we get. Uh, forward slash. Yeah, it's all red. That's good. So there now. Um, let's go to object mode and then select the armature and then pose mode. And I would like to grab that one here and uh, look at it now. Then you can see how this, it's just kind of, you know, following, it follows that bone and the other one doesn't, it just stays there just as it would be an actual hinge. And if I didn't do the precision right on this, uh, you know, I apologize, but uh, um, the, the whole idea is that you'd get something that looks as if it was a see what that does cobalt. So it follows like one stays put, you know, this one here is is a part of or welded onto you know this one, that one is a part of that the, the one above, so it follows with it, and uh, like that. So now you have these separate meshes, and they are related to this rig, so they serve a purpose. You could just as well make these you know, parts of this this hinge, uh, you know, just be, you can model it nicely. So it's like, you know, it's an actual uh, part of part of the mesh for the this object there. And this could, you know, be, and there would just be a contiguous mesh. But what I'm trying to bring home here is the point that you can m create joints that are, so to speak, not deforming because they're they're designed as if they were mechanical joints. So there's really nothing that's gonna deform. It's just gonna pivot around something. So that was my basic message for this tutorial. And I think that this is pretty much the end of uh, these uh, uh, rigging, you know, animating with uh, uh, armature for now. And if somebody feels that there is something that needs more explanation. Uh, just uh, send me a message or leave a comment to see what can do something for you. So uh, thank you for listening and uh, have a good day. And uh, remember to like these. If you like it, please press the thumbs up button and um, subscribe. Thank you and have a good night.